what's up, vlog? How y'all doing? It is currently 9.50 something in the morning. Um, I went to sleep at 3.30 in the morning. I am gassed, tired, extraordinarily airily. I just want to be asleep. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, you know what I'm saying? We can't sleep because at 10.30, um, McDonald's stopped serving breakfast. You feel me? And I don't want lunch. I'll be honest with you. I don't want lunch today for real. I want I want I want breakfast and I want my dinner. Feel me? Speaking of dinner, I want Olive Garden. Hey bro, if y'all can convince my boys to let us go to Olive Garden today, I'd be very appreciative. That's all I want. I want my chicken Alfredo and I want a black tie moose cake uh, for the post game dub. But we can talk about that later. You feel what I'm saying? Regardless. I just wanna I just wanna go get some good food. I wanna get my breakfast. So I said, you know what? You may be tired as heck, Alex, but we're gonna wake up. Um I think last vlog, last vlog y'all saw at the end, I told y'all I was going to record a video with Caitlyn. This vlog is probably two days after I dropped that vlog with Caitlyn. Or a day before, a day after I dropped that video with Caitlyn. Uh, but you know what I'm saying, who cares? It's all right. You feel me? Um, but y'all, today, today's been a, today's going to be a good day. I was about to tell you how the day's been. I dreamed, like, I ain't going to lie, my dreams were so vivid, y'all. Like, I really be feeling like I'm living it. And the thing is, like, afterwards, I'll forget exactly what happened, but it's crazy. So the ones that I remember, like, I'd be really, like, thinking about those because, um, I don't know, the fact that I remember them so much is a big deal to me. Um, but I'm yapping right now, and it's early as heck. See, when people wake up, you think they talk less. I think I'll wake up and talk more. Maybe I need to go back to sleep and calm myself down. Who knows? But either way, trying to get this McDonald's, man. All right, y'all. It's time for a nice bath. You feel what I'm saying? We got game day tomorrow. And so I got to be ready. I got to be feeling good. Got to be feeling, uh, I guess, you know, loose is a good word. It wouldn't be too loose now. But I, I just, I just want to feel good. I want to feel like myself. And so we're going to take this ice bath. It's not cold outside. So hopefully it, when I get out, I'll be feeling good still. But I'm going to be freezing. Like, after you take an ice bath, I swear, like, 30 minutes, an hour later, you're just shaking the entire time. I hate it. All right, y'all. We just finished the ice bath. And not going to lie, today was slight. I honestly didn't really notice it. Didn't really feel it. You know what I'm saying? I think the chills are about to start coming on now. I'm starting to feel a little bit of something. I'm gonna throw on my um, I'm throwing my my comfort. You know what I'm saying? My comfort pants. You know what I'm saying? So I get a little bit of warmth going on here. I need to wear a jacket, but I'm gonna thug it out and just say it is what it is. You feel me? Um, but whew, actually, I'm starting to feel like the chills coming. Anyways, y'all. Oh, <laughs> y'all. I forgot that's on the door. Anyways, <laughs> uh. But that video, I can't believe they said it was a political ad all because we talked to those people. That's crazy. Boy, if you don't put them nuts down, hey, hey, you, you put the nuts down. Hey, where are you going? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They think I ain't see them. Uh-huh. I think somebody dropped their nuts out there in the in the field and they was munching on the, the, them people's nuts. I think they slick. Uh-uh. I'm going to snitch on them. I'm going to get them squirrels arrested. Put them in squirrels jail. <laughs> What the heck am I talking about? Oh my gosh. Anyways, just got done talking to some, well, my advisor from last year, who I'm also a peer leader for our class now. And there's a lot of opportunities to open up here, y'all. So I can say, um, God's great. And I'm actually, it's kind of crazy, y'all. I'm telling you, um, just be prepared to be used, y'all. Cause you never know in what way he wants to and will use you. Um, so be ready. Are you voting? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Either way. Oh, you know what? It's perfect timing. I can get away with any crime right now. They can't tell who I am. See? Uh, I will literally I'm, send out an Amber Alert that says, I'm white now. Alex Bolton. I'm white now. They can't tell. So. That's not how that works. So. Who? No, I would never get you to tell me that on video. I'll, I'll, I'll tell right now. What? I'll tell right now. Jill Stein for president. Okay. Who the heck is that? She's actually on the ballot. Is she? I saw it what was she running for? Libertarian, maybe? Oh. I don't know. Is that like a more liberal liberal? Is there more liberal? <laughs> is there more liberal than liberal? I mean, I'm confused. Either way. She was, she, I didn't even know. I knew there was like another one. There was like six options. Dude, was, was there like a, a greenery yeah, one? Yeah, there was a green one. Yeah, a green party. Libertarian. 
I don't remember which one she was, but she was one of them. I think I'll get my ballot this Saturday. Mm. I'll be voting tomorrow, y'all. Um, oh shoot, look at my, it's my twenty, my twenty, my twin. You know what I'm saying? Not identical, but close enough. It's really not even the same. Not even you close. Like a Che Guevara mask. Yeah, this is Jason. This is more like an anonymous mask. No, it's, it's literally Che Guevara. Who's that? The fact that you don't know when you're wearing his mask is honestly insane. Uh, well, um, the fact you're sitting on his bed and you don't know who lived here last year is honestly insane. So. Just, you sleep in this bed every night and don't even know who bought it or who lit. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. I you don't know what. too, so. Well, I. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See what time are you leaving for, um, we got mock games yeah. or football in a minute. Yeah, I probably should leave, like, soon. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to change. Uh. What's up, bud? What's up? I should have had this yesterday. I was vibing. it. <laughs> it's not so cool, bro. Dude, I can scare heck of people with this. Bro. Dang. Bro. Drop the door. It won't no, prop. You, we need something new. It won't prop. Yeah, I know. I know. The door uh, prop. We need a new door prop, bro. New door prop. It's literally broke. New door prop. Not a top guy. Um, let's use your head. You just said? Huh? What's up? Let's use your head. My head? Yeah, use your head. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> <sighs> <sighs> what is up, Law? We're back with another video here at Olive Garden. And today, we're going to be testing Coe's Freak Level. What? Alright, Joey's first. Like Freaky Friday. Indeed. Yes, it is Friday. It's Friday, buddy. <laughs> Joey. Joey. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> I, I lied not to you. Don't ever do it again. Dead serious. That might be the worst thing. Anyways, y'all, yes, we are at. Um, let me show you what I got. I cut. I cut. Dude. <laughs> I cut out what uh, happened, but just know that might be the worst thing to ever happen in vlog history. Um, besides that one time that Joey said something else. And that other time Joey said something. I'm starting to think Joey might be the problem here. Sit down. Ah, it's kind of thin, ain't it? Just put the phone in your mouth and be like, <laughs> <laughs> how bad would you? Bro? I would have tweaked. I'm not gonna lie. I can't get a little piece. No, bro. A little piece. My a chocolate little, lasagna, bro. No, squidward bro. No squidward. squidward. What is a squidward like bite? A teeny little bite. A squidward bite. Have you used it? No. I just pulled this out. Bro, like. A squid, I'm gonna squidward. Like literally, no, like literally nothing. Yes, that's good. Tell me how it is. I haven't tried it yet. Good. I love cake. Check out on though. I find cake. It is cake. It's just like. It's cake with. It's like cream uh, icing. It's like a mousse. Yeah. That's it. It's perfect. So you know your name. It's mousse ganache. Yeah. Chocolate ganache. I love chocolate ganache. My brother makes a uh, cake with chocolate ganache, y'all. It is fantastic. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like ganache, then ganache. Then get out. Get out. Yeah, I drove here today, so I'll be driving back. And uh, I'm kind of tired, though. So Jesus, take the wheel. Guys, we've been hearing the same thing over and over again. We have been hearing the word of God in our lives for quite some time. And even if you're new, we have heard what the Lord has said. It is time to stop just hearing and begin to start taking it to heart. Many of us know what God has said. Many of us understand what the word of the Lord has called for us to do, but we have not yet taken it to heart. The Bible makes it clear that all actions proceed from the heart, all matters of sin. And so if all matters of sin proceed from the heart, where does all matters of righteousness stem from? The heart. Where are, what are you filling yourself with? Where does your heart long for? Who do you long for? Who have you given yourself to? I can say for sure in my life, I have given my heart to so many different places. I have allowed things in such short time to take so much presence in my mind, in my heart. And it's corrupted me. It's hurt me. It's broken me. And when it comes to the word of the Lord, how quickly are we letting it seep in? How seriously we are, are we taking it? How much of our heart are we devoting to the word of God? 
We talked yesterday about taking it seriously, and this is a step of taking it seriously, dedicating your heart to the word of God, dedicating the word of God to lay and rest upon your heart. Because while reading Malachi, the second chapter, um, God is speaking to his priest. And in verse two, <clears throat> or is it still verse one? Um, it reads, if you don't listen and if you don't take it to heart, again, if you don't listen and you don't take it to heart. See, it's not enough just to listen. It's not enough just to go to Sundays and hear the sermon. You have to learn to apply it. It's not enough just to hear the word of God. You must learn to apply it. So it says, if you don't listen and if you don't take it to heart to honor my name, says the Lord of armies, I will send a curse among you and I will curse your blessings. In fact, I have already begun to curse them because you are not taking it to heart. Y'all, it is time to start taking it to heart. It is time to stop playing around with God. It is time to start letting so many things have access to our heart. See, the word of God is supposed to have top priority in our lives. And the reason he does not is because in our heart, he is fighting a battle for number one. And that is because we are allowing so many things to take precedence in our life over God. When are we going to say, God, you have my heart? When are we going to fully devote ourselves to the Lord? Because the reason our lives, our lives are struggling is because spiritually we are struggling to allow God to be number one. The reason you can't overcome your sin is because God and your sin are fighting for your heart. And in your heart, you have yet to adopt the word of God and take it seriously. When are you going to take it seriously? The reason you're waiting on this breakout, the, well, mm, there are things God wants to do in your life, places God wants to take you that you will be incapable of going to, not because it's not called to be, not because it's not put in you, but because you have not allowed God to have enough of your heart for you to, to finally gain what he has called for you to have. See, a lot of times we are not reaching places we are supposed to go, not because God is, has not called for it to be, or not because we, we don't have the ability to do so, but instead we have not allowed ourselves to give God the access in our hearts to do the mighty work he needs and wants to do. See, God can work through anyone. But the thing is, the people who God is going to work through the most are those that dedicate the most of themselves to him. Whoever God has the most access to work through are the ones that God is going to work through the most. And see, the problem in the kingdom today is that we have people that are more worried about being uh, used by God for personal gain than being used by God for the Lord's work and the Lord's gain. See, our hearts are dedicated to doing our will and not the Lord's. And that is why we are seeing so much of, of, of the beautiful, amazing works in this kingdom being delayed, the beautiful, amazing works in this kingdom not being brought to fulfillment because we are not dedicating ourselves to the work of God, but instead the work of the flesh. And that is because we are allowing the flesh to be, to, to corrupt our heart, the, the flesh to fully hold our heart instead of allowing God to have it. See, in our heart, God must be number one. In our heart, the word of God must rest and abide. I, um, I'm going to leave y'all with this, actually. I was talking to a friend earlier and they were asking me about tattoos and you know what I'm saying? I, I, I rock with tattoos. I think they're cool. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, if it's glorifying unto the Lord, it's amazing. And they were talking, were talking about how they would love to put a scripture on their skin. They said, how amazing would it be to have a scripture on my skin? And I was like, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And my entire thing was make sure you have it in your heart as well. Because to have a scripture on your skin and it'd be absent in your heart, there's no purpose. For you to walk around proclaiming to be a Christian, but having no relation with God, there is no purpose. If God is not in your heart, then what is the purpose of, of flaunting around claiming to be a Christian? God is talking to his priest here. So he's making it clear. It's great. It, it, you know what I'm saying? You have a title as a priest. Cool. You read and you hear my word, but in your heart, you are absent from me. If we are claiming to be righteous and we are claiming to be God's children, yet in our heart are absent from the will and the word of God, how can we claim to be anything? We are without. It is important that we are truly dedicating ourselves to taking God serious and standing on what we say we are, we are doing in him. Are we truly dedicating ourselves to God? And I can let you know, I struggle with it some days because if I truly have my heart in the right place, 
sin would truly be absent in my life. And I get it. I'm still human. That's true. But at the end of the day, the point is to grow and get better daily. And so we have to learn to fully consistently let God have more and more of our heart day by day. And when we notice that we're falling short in a certain area, we have to begin to do that work in prayer, in reading, in, in, the, in our day to day life beginning to move and walk in a way that gives God more access to our heart, that he may take over our heart and he will begin to push out that sin that be trying to take over, push out that temptation. He will come and do the work and we give him access. So look, you got to give God his office space to do his office work and he wants to work in and through you. So let's open up our hearts to the Lord that he may come in and have his way. So I'm saying today, does God have your heart? Does God have access to your heart? And are you taking his word and his will to heart? Are you taking it serious and opening it up that he may have his way? Because where God has his way, the devil can't have his way. So begin to give God access to your heart. And I promise you, you will see the work thereof. All matters of the all matters of sin stem from the heart. So all matters of righteousness must come from the same. Understand we must allow the Lord to have his way with us. Because we are vessels for righteousness. Vessels, God's soldiers. And we gotta be diligent in well doing. Let us pray. I just pray, Father, Lord God, for all those watching, Lord God along with myself and my friends and my family, all those that we know, Father, may you watch over them and bless them. May, Lord God, your hand be mightily upon them. And because we come in faith, Lord God, we know that you have us. Because we come by faith, Lord God, we know we can count on you to deliver us from any storm, from any trouble, from any pain. In all situations, Lord God, we have faith because we know you are with us and there is no fear, Lord God, to have. For we know, Lord God, that in you, things are done. In you, things are finalized. In you, things are secure. And so we know, Lord God, what you have called for us to have is already ours. And so, God, we, we, we give our hearts to you. We dedicate our lives to you. And we ask, Lord God, that you have your way. And you help us, Lord God, to move in strength. That you help us, Lord God, to stay dedicated. That you show, Lord God, the amazing works that you're going to do in and through us, Lord God, come to fruition. Because you have called them to be so. And by faith, we will walk, we will talk, and we will live. And I pray, Lord God, that the devil will not have his way. Because, Father, we know that it, it, as long as you have your way, the devil can have his way. And if every day is your day, then the devil can't have a day. So Halloween is past. And I say in the name of Jesus, Halloween has never been the devil's day and it never will. Christmas, oh God, and Thanksgiving, all these days are on the way and days to celebrate. But we say every day, Lord God, we're going to live as Thanksgiving. Every day, Lord God, we can celebrate, Lord God, your glory because every day is your day. And I pray, Lord God, that we'll live in such a way to glorify and testify to the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, Lord God, that you will please have your way with us. Have your amazing way with us, Lord God, and let us never forget that you are God. Let us not just hear your word, but Lord God, may we take it to heart that our ways may, Lord God, adapt to the ways, Lord God, you have called for us to move in. It's in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. That's nice. That's nice. Well, hey, if y'all enjoyed this vlog, man, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I pray you enjoy the vlog. Hey. Hey.